Welcome back guys to make easy QBasic tutorial. In this video, I will be explaining how to reverse the given string in QBasic. First of all, I will show you the program and the output of the program and then I will show you the step-by-step -step driving process. So watch till the end and understand the program. Okay, this is the simple program to reverse the given string. What is reverse? I will show you with the example. Okay. So now you can see it is asking for this string, so you can enter anything your choice. Let me enter Nepal. So the string. And the reverse of a string is L A P E N. What is this? From the last L A P E N. This is the reverse of the string. So you can enter the different string with multiple characters. So it will display the reverse. Let me enter my name is Khan. So you can see this is the string. And you can see from the last, it will display the reverse N A H K S I. So from here, in this way, it will display the reverse of the string. It can be a single word or multiple word. And in the string, the <coughs> bank space is also calculated as one string. Okay, now let me enter one more. Start Mandu. As you can see from the reverse u d n a m t s a k so this is the reverse of the given string now let me show you how this program works with the tyrant process okay this is dry run table and this is the program which we have already wrote here now the first thing what you need to do in the dry run table is you need to write the variable name used in the program so in the first line you can see this n dollar variable is used here so i'm writing here n dollar after that in the loop variable we are using a so i'm writing here a variable after that we have loop so loop condition might be true or false sometime we need to write here loop also loop is starting from 5 to 1 why i have written here 5 to 1 because for this dry run process i am storing here nepal i will be explaining you with this string nepal so for the dry run you need to keep some value so i'm keeping here nepal so that's why the Len of n dollar so in the n dollar variable we have nepal and how many characters we have here that is five so length of n dollar means it will be five so in the place of this it will be five so loop where i will start from five and up to one because it is written here one and step minus one because this is in the descending order five to one that's why next variable which we have used here is b dollar so i'm writing here b dollar and then we have rev dollar so i'm writing here rev dollar and at the last i have written here output why because we have used print statements whenever you write anything in the print statement it will be displayed in the output screen so that's why for print i'm writing here output okay let's start the process this is the main important logic and these are the four line of code you need to understand in this program remaining part is easy Okay, so I start from here. NEPL is the <coughs> string which I'm using here for the dry run. Now, loop. Okay, so in the for loop, A equals to length of n dollar. How many characters we have in the n dollar? Five. So loop variable started from what? Five. Now, value of A is what? Five. Okay, next after that, for a equals to 5 to 1 so whenever the value of a is between the range like 5 to 1 then it is true so value of a is 5 so it is true now when this loop condition is true it will go inside the loop and inside the loop we have two statements that is first b dollar equals to mid dollar n dollar a comma 1 so what does it mean first of all b dollar is the variable where we want to store some value and what is the value that is mid dollar mid dollar is used to extract some character from the string so from which string n dollar in n dollar we have nepal from a that means starting from fifth position that's this a means starting from fifth position this one means only one character so from here starting from fifth position this n is in the first position b is in the second position p is in the third position a is in the fourth position l is in the fifth position so from fifth position only one character that means l so we are storing that in b dollar so l okay after that rip dollar equals to rip dollar plus b dollar in the rip dollar which 
what is the variable we have nothing what is the value no so that means we need to add b dollar here so that is l we don't have anything in rev dollar so rev dollar plus b dollar is l next a next a means decrement the value of a by one so now next time value of a will be minus one so last time we have five five minus one is four why minus one because we have written here state minus one the control will go from next a to loop directly here so this time we need to decrement the value of a by one so last time that is five now value of a is four and the value of a is four now it will check the condition again for loop condition so it is from in the range of 5 to 1 or not yes 4 is in the range of 5 to 1 so condition is true then after that when condition true it will go inside the loop because we use loop to repeatedly execute the same statement again and again so first line again b dollar equals to mid dollar a comma 1 now this time value of a is 4 from fourth position only one character so from n dollar fourth position only one character so let me check 1 2 3 4 this is fourth position from fourth position only one character that means a so we'll store a in l variable sorry b dollar variable next rev dollar equals to rev dollar plus b dollar so in rev dollar variable we have l already plus a that means l a because this is a string when we write here plus symbol this means concatenation so keep the next variable at the end of the first value or first variable so this is l we already have at the last a l a okay next a next a means decrement the value of a by one next a means it will go directly from here to here and it, but it is written yet step minus one so value of a will be three after value of a is decremented it will check the condition whether this value three is in the range of five to one or not yes it is in the range so it is true again when it is true it will go inside the loop b dollar equals to mid dollar a and dollar a comma one from this nepal string starting from which position value of a is latest value three from third position that is p only one character that means p will be the value of b dollar now rev dollar equals to rev dollar plus b dollar so rev dollar we have l a plus b dollar that is p so p so l a plus p as a string is l a p next a next a means it will go back to the loop step minus one so value of a will be two now mid dollar n dollar from which position a that means second position how many characters that is one so from second position only one character that means e so this loop is again true because this is in the range and from second position only one character that means e and then rev dollar equals to rev dollar plus b dollar that is lap plus e that is lape now next a next a means decrement the value of a by one because it is written here step minus one so this will be one and when the value of a is one it will check the condition whether it is in the range of five to one or not yes it is in the range one is also in the range so true now b dollar equals to mid dollar n dollar from n dollar string from here starting from a that means first position so first position is n only one character that means value of p dollar will be n now last rev dollar equals to rev dollars rev dollar that is L a p e plus b dollar in b dollar we have n so what is the value of rip dollar now l a p e n now value of rip dollar equals to l a p e n now next a next a means it will go directly here step minus one now one minus one will be zero and then it will check the condition whether this zero is in the range of five to one no false and then after false condition it will go directly just after the next a statement that is print statement print statement means output so in the output you need to write this as it is reverse string is because that is written in this double quotation reverse string is and then value of rev dollar that is l a p e n so this is the 
final output. Reverse string is L A P E N. And then after that, end of the statement, that means program terminated. Hope you understand this concept. This is the dry run table of this reverse of the given number. You can try by using different string and it will give the correct result. Thank you for watching. If you have any confusion and questions, you can comment it below. Have a great day and see you in the next video.